everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, we had a little bit cooler day. I wore long sleeves all day, and I see my shirt needs to be pulled down a little. I'll pull it down a little. I don't like it when it makes the line up here. It does that for some reason. I don't know. Probably because of the way I'm sitting. Maybe I should sit up a little. Now you got to raise the camera, pull the camera back just a little, because otherwise, um, no. That, right there. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Um, I'm from Western New York, and it was a little bit cooler today. And it's supposed to be a little warmer tomorrow, but it's supposed to storm tomorrow. Now, I gave Jake a bath today because he's got a vet appointment tomorrow to get his shot that's going to cost a fortune. I did look in to see if there was anything around that would be like the clinics or the whatever they have. They don't have that this year because of the blue booger that's out there so nothing's happening and I found out that they're going to have to pick Jake up at the curb <laughs> I have to call I said oh this ought to be fun I have to bring my little track phone and call them to tell them I'm out there and I asked do they want Jake on a leash and they said no they'll put one of theirs on I can just see Jake he's not a friendly dog to strangers but because we're not at my house, maybe he'll be better. But he'll still be in the car with me, so I don't I'm know what he'll. Nasty. I don't know what he'll be like. It ought to be interesting because she said, "Oh, he's little. We could carry him well." <laughs> I don't know. I make him walk. I also wanted to show you because I've been crocheting a lot of stuff, but this is knitted. Whoops! It's got a little snag on it there. This is knitted. I don't know if you can see this. It's really, it's a string is what it is, and it's really very, very fine. I knitted this, and I knitted it a long time ago for my mother, but my mother passed away, and because she lived here, I was able to get whatever, I got it back. It's really pretty, but I was thinking this is kind of the stuff I would have to make to make one of those drapey shawls. But I would crochet it and not knit it. This was not a fun project. They do have the ribbon ribbon um, crochet or knitting spools that I could get something. But I would probably need about four spools to do what I want to do. I was thinking I would try that. But I have to go shopping. Which I don't want to go shopping. You might Let's, have to again. I might. I also wanted to talk about... And I was going to talk it over with Jim, but I said, oh, we'll just save that for the, the video because he has no clue. I, I said to him, what was my first business adventure? It's your turn. <laughs> uh, what do you think it is? Probably hairdressing. No, it wasn't my first business adventure. I was, I was pretty young. Mm, before I met you then. Yes. So I have no clue. Oh, what come on. Been. I've talked about it. Would babysitting I, is the no, only other thing I can think I, of. I didn't babysit until I was about 18 because there were no kids in our neighborhood. There was nobody to babysit for. So I, um, but what I did is I, I washed stones. And I sold stones to the neighbors for a penny a stone. And you know my neighbors bought them. <laughs> They really bought the stones. We used to find the prettiest little you stones. You were so cute. Anybody buy anything Oh, I don't you. think so. But it was fun because we would go out and we would look for the prettiest little stones that we could find. And we would wash them up. And when they were wet, they really looked prettier. And then we would put them in a little container. And we'd take our wagon and we'd go to the neighbor, which we only had two neighbors that we were able to travel to because the other ones were too far away. And so we went there, and um, they bought stones. They were a penny a stone, and they, they bought them. And we came home. We were so happy. We had, like, two cents. They would buy two <laughs> stones, and so we had four cents. Each neighbor bought two. So that was my first adventure at trying to make money. I'm not a good salesman, but, if I, did, but I did sell stones. <laughs> I also wanted to show you last year when I when I showed that I I um oh gosh there goes me I I showed you 
my snake gourd. I couldn't think of the word, and I and I should have just stopped for a moment and think. I showed you my snake gourds, and they were, and I tried cutting one, and it was so hard to cut. Well, the other three I dried, and this one I'm going to show you this, and this is what I dried them, and you put them in these. I think there was Onion orange bag. onions in this. There was onions in this bag, onions in that bag too. Um, but anyways, I put them in this, and this one was washed, but this is the, because it molds as it's drying. I washed this one with steel wool, so this one is pretty nice, but I've got a shaky inside. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, that's what it makes me think of. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> and then there's this one, I know. This one's a little heavier. This one hasn't... This one hasn't been cleaned off yet. Oh, as you can see, it's got even onion skin stuck to it because it was in the bag. But it's got a little bit of um, mold here. And if I were to wash this, uh, this, this skin would come off. And it, it's, it, but this one's, this one's still not dry all the way. I can't shake it. Here, you want to put my club back in its onion bag? Yep. But this one, this one is dry, and they're huge. Can you imagine on the Shed Wars, if you had a couple of these, you'd win as far as pound goes, because these things were really heavy. The stem on the end is really, really, it's a hard, it's like a little tree branch. Um, my snake gourds grew different than everybody else's snake gourds. Everybody else's snake gourds grew real long, like five real feet long. long. And real Mine grew like Bam Bam's club. See how lovely? I was looking at the thing because I was looking in the mirror. <laughs> I mean in the window, in the, what do you call it? The viewfinder. viewfinder. Yeah, I was looking at that because I can tell whether I'm in the picture or not. But if I look at the lens, I can't tell. But this is what I, this is what I wanted to show you. When I, and it shakes. It's really, I like it. I really like it, but it's old. My warm now because I'm feeling <laughs> silly. Okay. That is my video for today. I hope you all had a great day. And I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. So you take care. Bye-bye. Actually, bye-bye. <laughs> I lay with that hand. Okay.